I've been sitting here for a little while trying to think of how to open this. And I just, there isn't a good way to do it. So I guess I'm just going to start. A couple days ago, I uh, had my 10-month checkup. I don't know why it was 10 months. It seemed kind of arbitrary. But it was a 10-month checkup with my surgeon. And uh, it wasn't good. So that was, that's been kind of depressing. Basically what happened is, I, I guess I'll start with the ostrigonum because that's, kind of, I think I've been starting with that, I'm, I'm not sure, either way, the ostrigonum, that, that's, that's not even an issue. Uh, every so often, I do feel like a tightness, I can feel my heartbeat in it a little bit, but nothing I would describe as pain, nothing I would describe as super limiting, like, as far as I can tell, that's been a success. It's the, uh, uh, what is it, the navicular tarsal coalition, or, I forget the name of it at this point, it's not, you know, at the tip of my brain. But, uh, you know, the, the thing that was linking two of my joints together, that, uh, that, that link there, that's what's been giving me the most issue. Um, we're 10 months in, and my surgeon would have expected me to be doing better than I am right now. It seems as though I've kind of plateaued at this point. Um, I think I briefly talked about in the last uh, update that I was getting some kind of random nerve pains every so often. Uh, that's not an issue anymore so I mean clearly there, there's still progress being made um, I'm very consistent I think I talked about that being last or last time but I, I'm nowhere I'm not at the same level of endurance I was pre-surgery but my peak pain is not as high as it was pre-surgery if that makes sense but my average pain is higher than pre-surgery pre it's this it's it's weird so I'm good for three or four hours a day. Um, I, I don't think I've indicated this much on the channel, but uh, I, I ended up having to sell my house because of the surgery. It was going to put me out so long that there was just no way to make money, and I was running out of savings, and so I had to sell it. And I ended up buying this place with uh, you know the money I made off of it, and I basically well bought myself a job. I, I this is what I used to do for a living. Like drywall is what I am by trade, but uh, because of the limitations of my foot, I've spent a lot of time on uh, repair, like, well, shitholes, basically. I, I've spent a lot of time there, so I've spent a lot of time doing a lot of different things. So I figured this would be the best thing for me, and man, I'm, I'm almost a year into this, and the fact that I'm not to a point where I was pre-surgery is kind of concerning. You know, it's probably for the best that I, I know it's for the best that I sold my house and bought this. So I can come up here and I can, I can work on this, so, you know, when I can. I, I don't know what I'd be doing right now if I didn't, if I didn't have this opportunity to do this with this house. You know, I'm, I'm not, I can't switch careers easily. I, I don't have a, any real education. I, I work with my hands. This, this, this is what I got. You know, I'm not too good up here, but I got these. So this has been quite a, a an up and down roller coaster of emotion experience all the way around. So yeah, like I said, he thought I should be uh, further along than I am at this point. He would have expected me to be at least to the point where I was uh, pre-surgery. Um, I mean, let me be clear, the, the when I say the peak pain is less, I mean... If I wake up in the middle of the night after, you know, putting in as much as I can put in through the day, uh, you know, work-wise, it's not a constant stream of profanity if I have to use the bathroom in the middle of the night like it used to be. It was a very intense, it was a horrible pain. Like, it was horrific yeah, at times, and, and it was very inconsistent. There was no telling. There were things that would flare it up before, but there were, it was kind of random. It was bizarre. I'm not there anymore. I'm not sure... What's better? I mean, it's basically I'm in a, a point of pick an evil, right? And I think I would prefer post-surgery evil because at least I know I can pattern it, right? So now I can kind of schedule around. I can, I, I know roughly how long and how much I can take. So this is, this is good. Um, but he said I should probably be further along and it might be time to start thinking about other options. He's thinking that because I waited so long, and this has been almost uh, a two decade long, decades, 10 years, right? I think I'm using words I'm not familiar with. About 20 years, right? It's because this has been a problem since I was a young child, it's caused, 
I guess irreparable damage to the joint is what he's thinking. I mean, he, he had, this is probably going to require more um, testing and images. I, I, I don't know. Uh, we didn't get into that because he thinks I should wait a little bit longer before um, we really dive into anything new. But he's thinking that I should be a little further along than I am, which is disappointing. So if it doesn't get much better and I have plateaued at this point, my options are going to be deal with the pain, get steroid injections directly into that area, um, which uh, I'm pretty sure those are like four or five hundred bucks if you don't have insurance. And uh, here in the future, I am going to be without insurance. Let's go American healthcare system. Overpriced fucking shit. And then the other option, uh, the last option, uh, which he believes should be a last resort, and I, I believe I, I'm in agreement with him on that, is uh, fusion of the joint. Um, the issue I'm running into right now, I guess I should probably back up a bit and describe that. I'm jumping all over the place, I apologize. Like like I kind of indicated at the beginning of the video, or alluded to at the beginning of the video, I'm not sure how the best way to do this, uh, this update is. So I'm just diving in. After about three to four hours, uh, some days I can go a little longer, but the average is three to four hours at this point, probably closer to the four hour mark. Um, my range of motion severely decreases. So ordinarily, you know, I've got fairly good range of motion and then as the day goes on, it becomes less and less and it's like the whole joint gets stiff. So there's a chance that, you know, two years or the two year anniversary of the surgery, maybe I can get back to five or six hours, which would be ideal with me. Um, he indicated to me that he's not completely sure as to why over time I lose motion kind of is what it is. He, he's just thinking that I waited so long to have the surgery that the irreparable damage to my ankle is just, or to the foot, is what it is. Moral of the story is, is I should have gotten the surgery sooner. And I, I believe that to be true. Um, I, I think he's probably dead on with that. This should have happened as soon as this became an issue, which, I mean, I brought this issue up to previous doctors and he, well, the previous doctors should just told me to get custom shoes, which didn't help. So anyhow, the last option was fusion, which means possibly plates, definitely screws, scraping the bone, making it so the bone heals together. Um, definitely going to lose a lot of range of, or definitely going to lose motion range with that. So it should be a last resort. I can put up with the pain. I just wish it wasn't so limiting, you know, and I don't want to get the steroid shots to deal with the pain because pain is one of the only ways that your body has to communicate with your brain to be like, Hey, uh, you keep pushing this any further, you're going to start causing damage. So I don't, I don't want to get rid of the pain because I want to be able to know if I'm damaging the foot. Does that make sense? I don't have any experience with steroid shots. I don't know if it just dulls it a little bit. I don't know if it gets rid of it completely. I don't, I don't know how that works. But all I know is pain is annoying. Pain it drives us crazy at times, but it's good to have in your life, unfortunately. So fusion is one of the last last things that I want to consider, but it, it might end up being where I have to go eventually. It, it might get so bad that I just might be forced to do that. Now, when I was doing research on, um, uh, on the surgery myself, I came across somebody that did have a fusion done and they had to have their leg amputated because it failed. Now, I asked him about that. I asked my surgeon about this. And he told me that the chances of having or having to have your foot amputated for a, from a failed fusion are substantially lower than any other. Well, he didn't use that word. What was the words he used? I'm not going to be able to remember exactly. But I can try to better capture the essence of what he says. Um, he was telling me that he's never had a, a patient's fusion fail. Uh, he, he doesn't believe that to be an issue, although it, it can occur. Um, I don't know. It's, it's just, I'm in this loop of, 
it's just depressing. It's just depressing to think about. You know, I've been dealing with this for so long, and I finally get somebody to be like, hey, yeah, there's actually a problem here. And then by the time you do something with the problem, hey, by the way, it might be too late because there's, there's already too much damage to the foot. This might just be your new normal. It's just depressing. It's depressing to talk about. It's depressing to think about. Everything about it is just depressing. So I, it's probably going to end up having to get fused at some point. And there's a chance that that does fail, although it's possible that it's an extreme case. And will I actually get any uh, additional mobility from fusing? I, I don't know. I, I think the best course of action for me going forward at this point is going to be to try to lose weight, honestly. To, which is going to be difficult as all hell. I've done it before. One time I dropped 80 pounds. I felt great. But this is the worst shape I've ever been in in my life. This is probably one of the mo or the lowest points of my life. Not the lowest, but it's, it's up there. I don't have much uh, support system around me. And it, well, I, I don't want to bitch too much about that. Okay, I try to keep the bitching to a minimum. It's just going to suck. You know, I'm between a rock and a hard place and everything kind of sucks right now. The only thing I can do is move forward and thankfully I, I have this opportunity and I try to keep positive, I guess. I, I have this opportunity to work on this house and work with my hands. I don't have a boss breathing down my neck being like, hey, uh, when are you going to have this done? When are you going to have this done? When are you going to have this done? I could just kind of work at my own pace. If I if I didn't have that, I I don't I wouldn't be in a good place right now. I tell you that. I mean, I'm already not in a good place, but I I would be in an even worse place. <sighs> Was the surgery worth it? I don't know. Maybe. I was in a bad spot before. I'm in a bad spot after, and. Well, I'm just going to try to be uh, optimistic, I guess. It's only 10 months. Maybe in another six, I'll get another couple hours out of my foot. Maybe I can finally get my act together and lose a bit of weight. I think that's probably all I have to say. <laughs>